Phil Mulder is an OSU extension entomologist. Over the past month and a half, he and his team have been gathering insect samples from alfalfa across the state. So the aphid population doesn't seem to be quite as bad, but the weevil population is coming on. Uh, we were in Chickasha yesterday. We saw anywhere from one to two aphids per, or excuse me, one to two weevils per stem. So the weevils are starting to hatch out. Uh, they are just barely past that sort of theoretical hatch period around around 154 degree days right now. Uh, other parts of the state are in excess of 200 degree days. If you look at uh, Paul's Valley, the Garvin County area, uh, uh, Tillman County, they're pretty close to 200 degree days. Paul's Valley is over 200 degree days. So we're really at the point where we need to start considering a treatment for alfalfa weevil and perhaps aphids if you have an aphid population. Last year, producers were applying up to four treatments before the first cutting. While Mulder says conditions this year are far better, producers still have to consider their bottom line. Right now we're looking at probably, in a lot of areas, two-inch alfalfa, maybe three-inch. That's not very tall, so we don't have very much foliage. And we've got relatively high populations, one to two larvae per stem. What I would prefer to see the growers do is come in with some sort of tank mix that has a combination of, uh, of a pyrethroid and maybe a little bit of lores band to give it a little bit of extra kick. The drawback to that is if you have to come back with something, you're probably going to have to come back with something a little bit more expensive that's a carbamate like uh, lanate. And lanate is quite a bit more expensive than either the pyrethroids or the organophosphates like uh, lorspan. So if we get away with one application, that's even better than two because there's a little bit of money savings there. So with that first application, and even the second for that matter, but particularly with the first application, it's going to be very, very critical that we use high gallon inch, 20 to 30 gallons per acre, that we slow our spray rig down, that we make the application by ground, okay, and we just slow it down and make sure that we're getting onto the site that it needs to get on. I don't think it's going to be as, um, as troublesome this year as it was last year because a lot of the tie-up with these big rigs that make the application, a lot of the tie-up in the atmosphere that occurs when you have all this dust in the air it's not a really big matter right now. It's not a, a big situation that we have to worry about. But as it gets drier, it could become more and more critical. If you'd like to look at the full survey results from Mulder and OSU's entomology crew, just check out our website, sunup.okstate.edu, and click on Show Links.